Here's a chance to get a close-up look at some of the actual costumes worn by actors in some of our favorite movies and British dramas, like Masterpieces Downton Abbey. The point is, have we overlooked something or some source of revenue previously untapped? This formal is worn by Maggie Smith as Violet Crawley, the Dowager Countess of Grantham. Jenna Coleman plays Queen in Victoria. And wears this extravagant coronation gown. The costumes were meticulously sewn by Costprop, based in North London, with a definite flair for the dramatic. The cinematic couture exhibit is at Scadfash, the country's first museum of fashion and film, located in the heart of Midtown Atlanta. Open to the public, it's also a learning tool for students attending SCAD, the Savannah College of Art and Design. They craft the mannequins to fit the costumes, style the wigs to match the hairstyles of the day. Remember the Queen's new do in Victoria? Tell me, are you good with her? I'm inspecting the troops tomorrow. And there'll be so many ladies of fashion there. Perhaps a pendant braid around each ear. One student replicated Victoria's crowns using a 3D printer. It took 52 hours to print this crown. Rafael Gomez, the director of fashion exhibitions at SCADFASH, says a good costume helps actors develop their character. Kira Knightley's gown in The Duchess takes you back to 18th century England. While these flapper-era gowns featured in the series Mr. Selfridge, set in London, bring in the Roaring Twenties. It's quite a different 20s look for Downton Abbey's aristocrat Martha Levinson, played by the charismatic Shirley MacLaine. Come war and peace, Downton still stands and the Crawleys are still in it. And it's a cocoon coat. The fabrics that were chosen, the embellishments. We have, for example, Dangerous Liaison. They got an Oscar for the best costumes. And if you see all the details that are in the dresses, they, are, they can almost be considered couture gowns. So we can really like travel through time through the exhibition. And the stories these fashions tell. These costumes from Dangerous Liaisons show what aristocrats, including those in Britain, were wearing before the French Revolution in 1789. Gowns were ballooning out. And hairstyles were piling high. If you were in a carriage, you would need to sit on the floor for the volume of the hair. After the revolution and the beheading of King Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette, this aristocratic style suddenly became a fashion statement punishable by death. Aristocracy was out, democracy was in, and after the revolution we would have what we see at Jane Austen. Is that better, sweet on air? Like the costumes worn in the movie, Sense and Sensibility. Now do not fret, my dear. A style also seen in the British drama Pride and Prejudice. Just the cotton, Muslim. These simple styles didn't last long. Then little by little, the sleeves, they start growing. The volume of the skirts start getting bigger as well. Compare this early 1800s wedding gown worn by Kate Winslet as Marianne Dashwood in Sense and Sensibility to Victoria's coronation gown in the 1830s. By the mid-1800s, gowns inflate even more, like Scarlett O'Hara-shaped dresses from Gone with the Wind. Yes, fashions here in the South were following similar trends. Only to slim down again at the end of the 19th century, as you can see in Nicole Kidman's outfits in Portrait of a Lady. It was a very slim line. You have the volume in the back, the bustle in the back, and uh, and the corset would uh, the corset would be elongated to also to create this very elongated figure. Yes, it's very interesting to see the silhouette, the historical silhouette through time. A visit to SCAD Fashion Midtown gives you a good look at how fashion evolves.